We're gonna get another co-pilot seat animation. Here we go then. Ah, it's a funky little ship, isn't it? Yeah, it's 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 a pretty it's a really nice ship. It's, it's definitely very detailed. Like all these switches, most of them do things. Um, it's got uh, two turrets mm -hmm. for uh, your crew. It's got a recreation area. It's got like a habitation area. You know, cargo mm -hmm. even has an under section you can hide things in. Ah, uh, right. It's really quick. It's a it's a blockade runner ship, so it's, mm. uh, for its size though, it's pretty uh, agile, and quick. Quite a we lot of weapons on it as well. Yeah, it's got a de decent armament. So, what weapons can you control if you're in single player mode, for example? Um, you can control the missiles. The two front guns. Right. Which so you totally can play it on your own if you want to. Um, yeah, I believe in the next update you may be able to use the missiles in the co-pilot chair. I'm not really sure. Hmm. To implement that, the missile operator mode. So. And this ship can outrun a lot of ships too. It's a uh, Pretty quick for its size, so cool. far away from lights. Show you the layout so you'll know how to get to stuff. Okay. All that. Yeah, let me know if you ever want to fly or anything. Whoa, why are you that weird back in the chair again? Get out of here. Okay. Got yeah, mistaken when we got back in the chair. Right. <laughs> So, weapon rack. Yeah. Recreation. Now, this chess board actually works. Really? I've actually played chess with my friends. Like, uh, had whole games. <laughs> ah. And there's a little trick here. I believe you take the, uh, the white queen. Let me make sure which one's the queen. down there. Secret. Oh, that's your smuggling compartment. Yeah. Cool. This is one of the ways to get down there is putting that queen on that coaster. And how big is it down there? It's a, well, it's basically a lot of crawl spaces. Uh, some of them go to other areas of the ship where you can get out, like the uh, scanning room, Find, 
find your way through it, you can end up to the cargo bay. And there's a secret cargo storage area that you can hide like drugs in and mm. just whatever you want to hide and it, can't, and it can't be scanned. If you can find me, I'll tell you, I'll show you where it is. It's right yeah, here. I'm, I'm right following here. you now. So yeah, like right here is where you can store cargo that, and, and then the authorities can't scan here. Oh, brilliant. And then you can uh, open this door here. And here's your cargo bay. There's a secret hatch here. You can close it. Ah, cool stuff. for data running all these servers here. Yeah. It's like the main function of the ship. Uh, and here's another secret hatch. To the bottom. Okay. The thing that's kind of cool about this ship is it kind of can function a little bit as an exploration ship because it has the scanning features. You can put a vehicle in it. You know, it, it's got mm. like a little partial exploration ability to it. You know? like a small, very small crew that wants to explore. Yeah, cool. It's to scan down wormholes and, you know. And uh, here is habitation. Here's where all where the beds are, basically. If you want to log out log back in kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And they have uh, bathrooms here whenever they implement that. There's one on each side. Yeah, cool. That's really it. That's a nice looking ship. How much are these in game now? Probably like three or four million, something like that. I see. It's not too bad. I think it's like a two hundred twenty-five dollar ship and money. Yeah, we. I actually, I actually own this one, and if and if you uh, if you go to F four, mm -hmm. and look at outside the ship, and, yeah. Uh, if you zoom in, you'll see the. The actual name of the ship is on the outside. Mm -hmm. It's the the ISS Renegade. Renegade. Yeah. Uh, that's the main reason why I bought this ship is because uh, not only do I really like it, but I could name it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's, it's 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 quite a good shape. Yeah. It's got it's got that asymmetrical design thing going yeah on. yeah someone's been saying that in the chat as well Jules is saying saying that in the chat all right so let me show you one of the missions you can do here um, I'm gonna share it with you this is something you probably could do in Aurora mm -hmm. if you you just have to get used to the combat a little more as far as with your aura. Yeah. <clears throat> I think it's possible. I'm going to share it with you. Okay. Let me know if you got it. Um. Just accept the share. Does that come via the comm link, is it? Yeah. Uh, 
should pop up with that little blue text and you push the bracket. Oh, right, yeah. Did you get it? Mm, yes. Contract shared. Okay, so you should see travel to 890 jump. Yep. Now, this is, this is one way to actually show you how 890 jump looks like without me owning one. <laughs> Fair enough. Now keep in mind, this is a little bit of a dangerous mission. I mean, if if we die, or you die, you wind up back at Area 18. Fair enough. Well, no, but, I'll, probably, I'll probably spawn back on the medical bed, won't I? Um, this, this ship doesn't have a medical bed. Oh, right, okay. So, you want to be really careful. Well, I can't um, promise anything. <laughs> the good thing about doing this mission, is uh, it pays pretty well. You can, you can, if you did this solo, you yeah. can make about um, 45,000 credits. All right. You just have to, you know, not die. <laughs> this is kind of a good one to show you. You just have to, have to get really good at the combat. FPS and uh, ship. Right to get it done but i don't i think it's doable i mean there's two cutlass blacks guarding the uh 890 so you kill them and then uh then you board the 890 jump like and you gotta kill some guys on there okay okay so when we jump into this mission um you're probably gonna want to be on one of the turrets Okay. Before we go, I'm gonna check my controls and make sure I can target. Let me see if I can go. Broken. Make sure I can go and find a turret now. Uh, right. Before I didn't target anything. Let's see, cycle lock. Hostile. So it's cargo. Right, okay, I've got... I'm an, on a turret. Okay. I'll, I'll tell you which one in a minute. Okay. The bottom turret. Okay. And let me... Uh, let me just power it on. Okay, so you're, to cycle hostile targets, you want to press five. Right. You can um, target directly in front of you with a T, but I usually use the cycle because I can kind of cycle through them, you know. But I think it, I think five, five should work when you're on your keyboard. Okay. So you mentioned something about the gyro. Yeah, um, somewhere on that turret, if you hold down F, yeah. you'll see some text that says gyro mode. And if you do gyro mode, watch, and I'll show it to you now before we jump in. Um, if you enable gyro mode, um, no matter which way I turn, you can still focus on the same spot. Right, okay. It'd be far easier to shoot if I'm moving, you know? All right then. Good thing about this is I can actually fight. I can actually shoot with you this time. Jared Longbow or something. Shields charging. Shields fully charged. Well, we've got kind of Target destroyed. 
big bits of his ship falling off. There you go. Alright, they're done. <laughs> Alright, so in your Aurora, if you geared it out with some better shields, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, at least then you may be able to take those guys. You just have to be careful. Yeah. They aren't that tough. <clears throat> Shall I come away from the turret now? Yeah, you don't need to be there anymore. Okay. Xenothreat shows up. One thing you want to be careful of is uh, some of the people in here are not hostile. They're cops. Mm -hmm. Kind of hard to tell, but if they're not... Um, you can tell like the hostiles look kind of like pirates and they have janky little armor on. They have kind of like armor like us, where it looks a little more official. They're, they're probably security. Okay, so how do I draw the weapon then? Press 2, get your rifle up. Here we go. And R is reload. Right. Uh, if you want to, you wanna, yeah, you're already doing it anyway, aiming. Down the right. Yeah. If you want to, if you want to uh, put away your weapon, you hold down R. And getting your pistol out is one. If you need your pistol. Yeah. Another thing you can do while we're in here is if you see any weapons on the ground. Pick um, them up. Is it? You can pick, you, you can pick them up. Okay, cool. But, but but be careful cycling weapons in this game. Like right now, I cycle to my pistol and I drop my gun. Ah. So, I find that it's best just to use one gun. Yeah, we'll stick with the SMG. 